Hello YouTube and welcome to another video from Bradley Siderograph. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Donald Bradley Siderograph formula. Let's start by talking about where this formula comes from. So it comes from a book called Stock Market Prediction which was written by Donald Bradley in 1948. This book talks about how if you take into account uh, different planetary interactions some might be positive and some might be negative. If planetary interactions are positive overwhelmingly, the siderograph will go up, and if planetary interactions are negative, the siderograph will go down. The idea is that psychology is a very important part of investors' decisions when it comes to the stock market. And if investors are feeling very good, they're going to be buying up stocks. And if they're feeling pretty badly, there's a good chance they'll be selling stocks. So the whole concept is that different types of planetary interactions can make people more bullish or more bearish and that can therefore impact the stock market. So let's go up here and take a look at the formula itself. So you'll see that the formula has three different types of components. One is the long terms, one is declinations, and the third one is middle terms. So if you notice, there's a factor of five for the long terms and declinations. So these two factors have much more weight than this factor. So let's talk about uh, what these factors are. So for the long term sums value and the middle terms sums value, these are two of the three underlying factors. Uh, they're based on planetary aspects. So let's briefly touch on what are planetary aspects. So planetary aspects can be positive and they can be negative. So an example of a negative planetary aspect is when there's a 180 degree difference between two planetary bodies. So this is called an opposition. And when this takes place, it's negative, and it could cause investors to be, let's say, more fearful, more concerned about the market, and they might be more interested in selling their shares. So if there's a larger number of negative planetary aspects, the siderograph will be going down. And if there's a larger number of positive aspects, it will be going up. However, keep in mind that negative aspects and positive aspects can counteract each other. So if you have a lot of negative aspects at the same time as a lot of positive aspects, to some extent they could cancel each other out. So now that we've talked about what uh, planetary aspects are, let's take a look at the difference between the long-term planetary aspects as compared to the middle-term aspects. So at a high level, the long-term aspects are the aspects between the farther out planets. So it's a farther out planet having an aspect with a farther out planet, whereas the middle term aspects account for the remainder of the 36 aspects. So let's take a look at this. What we have here is a table of the middle terms or medium terms, as well as the long terms. You'll see that the long terms, which have a factor of five, these all represent interactions or planetary aspects between a planet that is farther away from the sun. So for example, Jupiter through Pluto. Uh, when those planets have an interaction with another planet from this category, it has a factor of five. This table down here shows us the information in a different way. It shows middle terms or medium terms and long terms. So if there's any type of planet that's relatively close to the sun, anything from the sun through Mars, it will be a middle term and it has a weight of one. Only if it's a farther out planet having an aspect with another farther out planet does it have a weight of five. If you note, the planetary aspects that are in the long terms that have a weight of five, they have a very long synodic period as compared to the factors that are uh, considered the middle terms. So let's take a look at this. Why would Bradley give a greater weight to planets with a greater synodic period as compared to planets with a lower one? Let's first talk about what a synodic period is. It's basically how long it takes between planetary conjunctions. For planets like Mercury and Pluto, Pluto stays about where it is because it moves so slowly and Mercury moves pretty rapidly. So that planetary aspect does not stick around for very long. It doesn't last long because before you know it, you know, Mercury zips by Pluto and then it leaves. So it doesn't last as long. Whereas these planetary aspects for the slower, slower moving planets, they tend to stay around a little bit longer. So you have long-term aspects and uh, middle terms. So after this, we have short terms, which these are not incorporated into the Bradley siderograph because Bradley thought that they were more uh, applicable to the very short term. Um, this would incorporate uh, interactions with the moon. This would incorporate uh, other types of uh, short term aspects that would be more for day traders.